Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. This is one of my most favorite places on earth, Jerry's Used Records in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood of Pittsburgh. The single greatest used records store on earth and a big thanks to Jerry for letting me film here and allowing himself to be interviewed for my recent Classic Game Room podcast. Over the past 20 years I've bought 90% of my vinyl from Jerry. This place is every record collector's dream. You have no idea what you'll find until you start digging. And it's all reasonably priced to bring a 20 and you'll leave really happy. Now's my favorite time at Jerry's because I've got the store to myself. I'm here first thing in the morning. I'm going to shop for some vinyl. And as you can see, I have um, plenty to choose from here. So, oh, also I've got a, a list from Metal Jesus Rocks of some stuff that he wants. Um, What's he looking for? Culture Club? Because I got it for you, Metal Jesus. Nothing says metal like that. I like, I like polka. I bought some German beer drinking music from you oh, in the yeah. past. That's fun music. If you go up front, this is all the uh, the big selling stuff. This, this is where you sell all your Stones and Zeppelin up here, right? Right here. Bought all my U2 from you. Uh, yeah, I get them in all the time. Credence. Bought all my Credence here. A couple of my favorite sections here at Jerry's are... Uh, the metal section. I do like some metal. Well, that, like I say, on the weekends, people come up here from um, West Virginia, Ohio, Eastern United, Eastern Pennsylvania, all over the place. I'm big into alternative and uh, 80s rock and pop, as everybody watching knows. But uh, I started collecting my disco here, and disco is kind of peppered throughout the soul, the soul section. But you get some really cool stuff. They just sold other 45s back there, so that's under construction. Uh, you get some really cool stuff when you venture back into this area. Because this is back where you get the ethnic music, you're getting your polka, you're getting like Christmas music, TV show music, uh, comedy albums, all kinds of cool stuff. It's just, it's like it's endless. And then there's even more. So we're gonna snake back through some, some of the categories back here. Not even sure what section I'm in. It just keeps going and going. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, this is all structurally sound beneath me because there's about a billion pounds of records here. I, uh, ha I have encountered lots of people over the years, friends of friends and whatnot, who may come to Pittsburgh and spend a day here. I'm not really into jazz, but they got a lot of jazz and big band. And vinyl's a great way to get jazz and big band music. So I'm going to go look for a few specifics, but if you make it to Pittsburgh, which you should, head to Jerry's Records. You won't be disappointed. So many records, I just banged my arm on one. Hurry up, I'm in the middle of an interview. Highly collectible stuff is hard to find here, so Metal Jesus, I'm sorry, they didn't have any Dream Theater or Ozzy in, but there's no shortage of Quiet Riot, Rat, and White Snake. Van Halen, U2, Led Zeppelin are all readily available, but Jerry's is best for discovering new things. Stuff you've never thought of before. Just buy from the album covers alone. Most, most of the albums run between two and five bucks, and if you buy a stack of them, good things happen. I love to find weird polkas and Hawaiian music. I'm a big fan of Hawaiian music for some reason. That surprises me too, it's super relaxing. And like Jerry said in the podcast, for you younger collectors, don't just try to collect Pink Floyd and Zeppelin and The Stones. Dig through the stuff you've never thought of and experiment. Be adventurous when you go to Jerry's. Bring a list and look for it, but then immerse yourself in something new. How about some zither music? Alphabetically, it should be right next to my ZZ Top.
Now I've already got a lot of this stuff. I've bought a ton of Billy Idol over the years from Jerry. I bought all the fix from Jerry. At this point, there's really only a handful of albums that I'm specifically looking for. Thriller and Michael Jackson's Off the Wall being two of them, which you could pay 20 or 30 bucks for online. They were about five bucks each here. If you can find what you're looking for, it's one of these places where I just browse and remember like, oh, that's right. I don't have White Snake on vinyl. Well, now I do. I like 70s funk and disco and like action movie music kind of music. So the Isley Brothers, incredible. Cool and the Gang, you may know their popular songs, but they have a huge catalog. And they're all super cheap too. Did I mention they're cool? There's a limited rap section. I really don't know much about it, but I'm pretty sure that you'll pay less for it here than you will in New York City. Here's a collector tip. Disco compilations are really cheap, and they're a great way to get started with disco. That's how I discovered Daz Band. Great album cover. Between Don Ho and Michael Jackson and Whitesnake, I'd say it's been a good trip. I could spend all day going through the Hawaiian section, but I think the Reader's Digest collection, which is a five album LP set, should keep me busy for a while. As you can see, I made a pretty good score here today. Now I gotta get back to the car before I get a parking ticket. Spend longer in there than expected, which is kind of a problem when you go to Jerry's. See you soon. Hope to see you here. It's great. Here's the final damage, everyone. Picked up the Isley Brothers Showdown. If the album cover looks like that, you know it's gotta be good. It's more Isley Brothers. Love the Isley Brothers. Michael Jackson off the wall. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough is easily my favorite Michael Jackson song. I like that more than anything on Thriller, actually, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to get off the wall, but here it is, and Michael Jackson definitely in his prime. I love, I love the old Michael Jackson stuff. I think Bad was, uh, well, <laughs> not good, personally. Whitesnake, on the other hand, I had this on cassette when I was a kid. Now I have it on vinyl, and I actually dig Hawaiian music, so some Don Ho. Hi-Fi Zither, because why not? This looks pretty sweet, actually. I'm going to be rocking some Hi-Fi Zither later after some White Snake. And the Reader's Digest collections are pleasure programmed. Program your pleasure. Oh, this is amazing. I'm going to start my listening today with some Michael Jackson. Which obviously I can't play for you because then the copyright police will be all over me. But this is a great album. And Jerry's is a great store. So check it out. Thanks again. See you soon. Don't stop buying records until you get enough. Yeah, you see what I did there? This one looks like it's in great shape too. You buy these records used for just a couple bucks and it's like somebody never played them before. Alright. Well, camera off. Michael Jackson on. See you next time. The album is spectacular, by the way, even better than I expected. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey, Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. <laughs> Al Stiver. Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek.
Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will? Will! Will. Will.